Welcome to this episode of Pembroke Cooks, where I will be teaching you how to make pasta with just two ingredients. All you will need is one half cup of water and two cups of flour. First, you are going to create a well or a hole in the center of your flour with your hands. Next, you are going to pour your water in the center of that hole. And then using your hands, slowly begin mixing the water with the flour. Scrape off any dough that has gathered on your hands. Once you have a shaggy dough, begin by kneading or gently pressing the dough together into a cohesive dough. Once you got your dough together, remove it from the bowl, dust your surface with flour, and begin kneading. To knead, fold the top half of the dough towards you and press down, and then turn one quarter of the way and repeat. Continue kneading for 10 minutes until you get a smooth dough that resembles Play-Doh. When you see the dough is bouncing back into its shape, you know that it is ready. To create the pasta dough ball, use your hands to pinch and twist underneath the dough ball. When your pasta is ready, transfer it back to a clean bowl. Cover with plaster wrap and press down on the surface of the pasta dough. And chill for 20 minutes. While your pasta is chilling, set up your workstation. Attach your pasta machine by clamping it down to the table edge and securing it tightly. Dust your hands and your table surface once again. You are also going to want to dust your tray and your pasta machine to prevent your pasta noodles from sticking. Once your pasta has been chilling for at least 20 minutes, remove your pasta dough from your bowl, but save that cling wrap, you're going to be using it in just a second. Cut your pasta dough into eight golf size ball pieces. Reserve seven of those pieces and cover with that cling wrap you saved. Adjust the pasta machine to the widest setting. Hand roll your pasta dough first to thin it out. You can now begin passing your pasta dough through the machine. I recommend doing this on the widest setting for at least six times. You can now adjust the rollers to the next widest size. At this point, you will only need to pass the pasta dough through the rollers once before adjusting to the next size. Your pasta can be as thick as thin as you like, as long as you remember the thicker it is, the longer it'll take to cook. Now if you want to make spaghetti or fettuccine, you can attach the extra rollers to the side of the machine. You're also going to need to remove and reattach the handle to these rollers. Now this next step is totally optional, but you can trim off the round edges of your pasta sheet just to give your noodles an even cut. And just like when we were rolling out the pasta sheet, pass the pasta dough through whichever noodle shape you would prefer. Give those noodles a little twist when putting them aside. Pasta makers are not limited to spaghetti or fettuccine noodles. There are all different types of pasta you can make with this machine. You can use a pizza cutter and trim three equal sized pieces of noodles. This is called pepperdelle. You can also slice your pasta sheet in half and make lasagna sheets. And of course, we're going to finish off with angel hair pasta. These are just four of the many, many pasta shapes you can make. I hope this pasta video was super helpful. Happy cooking!